Hey YouTube, so welcome back to another episode of What's in the Box. So, um, six days till Halloween, whoop whoop, uh, and as I said, I'll try and get more videos out as soon as I can. Um, I've got a big pile of boxes behind me, which is going to have to work my way through slowly um, to show what's on there. Um, on Wednesday, I'm still hoping to do my final um, kind of home sense TK Maxx big haul. We've been to about 15, 20 different stores over the last couple of weeks. And we plan to get that through. Um, one thing before um, I move on to opening of these and these are um, some right before Christmas Funko things which I've ordered I'm really excited about. Um, I just want to do a shout out um, to a friend and a colleague um, who's doing some really awesome things at the minute. They have a um, an Instagram page called SC Glass Etchings and what they do is they um, glass etch designs onto, um, onto drinking glasses and things and they've got some really really cool Halloween designs. So we've got these awesome bat design kind of tumblers. We have got these spooktacular pumpkins which are etched in a really good quality glass uh, and these are all um, hand etched onto there. She um, cuts out the stencils herself and she etches them on to the glass with a chemical I believe. It's more magic than what I know. Shot glasses with bats on and there's other designs as well that she's got available. And she doesn't just do um, kind of Halloween designs. One of the ones that she kind of likes the most at the minute is this really kind of nice cheese plant design, kind of classic. Um, and I believe she does these onto tumblers and shot glasses and gin glasses and wine glasses. Kind of anything that you can kind of think of. Um, I will stick her details here and I will also stick her details in the description of the video as well. Um, go and check her out if you after little Christmassy gifts for, for friends and family and things. Um, she's doing a really good job um, and it would really help her out. But anyway, back to what's in the box. Um, so Funko have released a bunch of new Night Before Christmas bits uh, this year. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to pick up quite a big collection of them at the moment. There's still some bits that I'm waiting for and there's still some bits I'm hunting for at the minute. There is a Jack um, art series piece that I'm after from last year and I just can't seem to get my, my hands on him, but that will happen soon. But I went to Food and Planet a couple of weeks ago and they had some of these in stock. So I managed to pick some up. So the ones I picked up from the stores is we have the Art Series Sally. So these Art Series are some of the classic figures uh, done in a more kind of like dipped kind of painted style. So each one of them is unique. Each one's different. And they come in the hard stack cases as well, which is even more spectacular. I think these retail about 15 to 18 pound. So we got the Sally. We got the mare and it's this year's or last year's kind of design of the mare figurine oh no it's not that's the original mare um figurine um which retails for a crazy price if you've got the the original ones of those um so there's the mare and then finally i was able to also pick up this really funky zero in the orange and white i think that one really popped that was a funko club um funko exclusive uh, for funko europe and I may have bought him off eBay because I missed him when he went on sale at Funko Europe. And the only other cool thing which I found in Forbidden Planet was a diamond version of last year's Mer figurine. So I believe that there may be a chase of this, but me finding that's going to be really difficult. Um, I picked up the, the regular normal chase version off the dreaded eBay. But yeah, that's what we did. Um, so what did I order from Funko? Um, I've actually ordered two boxes which have arrived like so um we start with the bigger one the bigger one feels lighter so um yeah as i said there's a load of new figures that have come through which are pretty cool and pretty interesting make sure i'm opening it the right way around um through funko this year they have even released a range of um kind of I think they're called Pop Rides. It's a train set, uh, which is a completely new concept. Um, and some of the, the figures that are coming through there are pretty cool. You've got Sally and a cat and you've got Oogie Boogie and his cart is some dice. And loads of other weird random ones that are coming through. So this is, oh cool. So this is one of the Pop Rides figures. And this is Jack on his, whoops, on his snowmobile which is pretty awesome. So I think this is one of the more expensive pieces. I think this is around about 30 ish pound and that glare of that light really not helping this figure. But I'll get some nice little close-ups of these as well. 
Um, I am unfortunately an inbox collector, so these guys do stay in their boxes, which is a bit of a nightmare for some people. Um, but yeah, it's Pop Rides. Jack Skellington in his snowmobile. Um, I have got other snowmobile pieces just off camera. Um, one of the things that aren't really seen very often is, is Jack in the snowmobile at all. Um, only using a really small part of the film um, where he's dragging the presents um, through. Um, but quite an iconic image from the film as it is. So you can sit there. And the thing is I've ordered so many things. I can't remember what I've ordered. So next box. Let's see what we've got in here. Again, these are from Funko, so they all come really well packed. Really well packed. Ah, I know what this is. This is interesting. So, first of all, we have another one of the art series. I was lucky. Um, so, if I remember rightly, this would be an Oogie Boogie. Yes, it is. This is the Funko exclusive Oogie Boogie in green. Uh, and there is a normal, regular version. I think he is in pink. Um... But yet the art series figures, as I said, they come in each um, each one's kind of unique and different because of the way that they're dipped. Uh, but this has kind of oogie boogies, kind of worms right the way through. That's a cool piece. Uh, and again, as I said, comes in the hard stack, which is nice. I think they're about 15, 18, 15, 18 quid, something like that. <sighs> Trying my luck now. We've got two. And as I said, trying my luck because we've seen these before. I've always failed, but these are the sodas. So these are the Harley Quinn Demon soda cans. And I've got one. I have got two. And there is the chance of a chase coming through these through these um, as well. So let's see if I can be lucky. I've never really been lucky at getting the chase figurines whenever I've ordered Um yeah, I've never I've never been lucky at all in getting any of the chases. I've always picked them up on the second hand market or been lucky enough to find a store that's having kind of a chase sale or something similar. So it comes with the figure in the box and there is a token in the bottom. And I can't look at the token in the bottom because it will tell me if it is the the regular or the chase version. So let's see what this is. So in the excitement. I'm actually not 100% sure what the chase version of this guy looks like. Maybe he's a glow in the dark, maybe something. I thought he's proper stuff in the bag. He doesn't want to come out. I really like the designs of these, um, these sodas. I just think they add something else that beyond what the pops do. Oh, you see, that's just that's just cool and cute. Look at him, proper cartoony. You can see right the way through his mouth, which is awesome. And yet, these are the only ones that I really kind of open up and display out of the boxes. You stay there. Um, so the token on the inside has a picture of the Harley Quinn demon, and it says that we found one of six thousand seven hundred pieces. Um, so should we see if we're lucky on number two? I won't open this one unless the token at the bottom tells me to do something otherwise. And we can see something exciting inside. Oh, you do not want to open. You really don't want to open. There we go. So again, seal box. And like always, it's the normal variation. So I'm on the hunt, I'm on the chase. I'm going to see if I can get hold of these. In, a, in the other variations, I've got none of the chase vari variations as of yet of these pieces. Um, but it's it's still part of the fun. It's still part of the fun of trying to get out there and try and find them. So just to show you, he's the same piece, he's the same figure, but he's pretty cool. Um, there is going to be another video tomorrow, another What's in the Box on Wednesday. The plan is to show the last haul that I've got from TK Maxx. I've got some stuff from Next. I've got some stuff from the Lego store. I've got some pick bits that I've picked up from a couple of the other supermarkets that aren't really worth a whole episode on their own. So I'll, I'll amalgamate those guys together. I'm sure I've got some other bits, some stuff from Argos, uh, Argos and Sainsbury's. Um, I've been able to pick up some bits from there, which I'm really, really pleased about. Um, again, sorry, there's going to be loads of Nightmare Before Christmas content because, because there is, and I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, that's really it. Um, 
thank you for joining thank you for watching thank you for the subscriptions thank you for the likes uh, thank you for the comments um, there was one comment this is really late in the video there was a comment placed on one of my videos yesterday which was then deleted before I had a chance to even reply to it which said something along the lines of I really get annoyed with people like me who buy all of the stuff from the stores and hoard it um, I don't buy all the stuff from the stores I buy one of each item um, I I'm a collector, look around, watch my other videos, I'm a collector of these things. These things are not bought to then be sold on the second-hand market. Uh, if I buy them, they stay with me and I are, they are loved and they are cherished and they are looked after. Um, I've done this for years and it is a, a huge passion. Um, I'm not here to try and rip people off or to scalp people or to hoard things that nobody else can collect. I want as many people to have them, but at the same time, I really want them as well. Um, so yeah, if you do see this and you do watch this far into it, the person who commented, I promise you I'm not doing this to be mean or to do people's heads in or to upset people. I do this because this is genuinely what I love. Um, this is all self-funded. I don't make any money from YouTube or anything like that. Um, this is, I do this for me. Um, this keeps me sane. Uh, but yeah, um, that's my little rant. I apologise. Uh, but yeah, until next time, guys. Until tomorrow. We've got six days left till Halloween. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow and take scare.